or I don't know how many of you have seen this or how many of you haven't, but um, I saw it a long time ago on a page. Uh, it was, I think it was NYC Reloader. He did a real good video on it. Um, I've been using it ever since. The um, And actually I mentioned in another video, I, I even took some of the ingots to work and had them check them on our, in our quality control department because I do aerospace fabrication. And it, the pencil test was pretty much right on as long as you use it the right way. Um, basically, um, I put a picture of the of the chart you need to go by um, in the very beginning of the video, and I also I'm going to put a link in the description for you to be able to get to it on a Google Drive, or if you want, you can take a screenshot of it or download it, or whatever you want to do. That way you can get to it. And so um, this is by far the most economical way to check your lead hardness. But um, anyway. Course, you know how pencils work these are drawing pencils so they uh, they're all different hardnesses all the way across that's what all the reference numbers are on the top that chart just basically tells you what level of hardness this letter pencil refers to on the Brunel hardness scale the uh, I think everybody says 18 is as low as you want to go um, I don't have any problem hitting 18 on the stuff that I do um, some people the chart says that Range lead should be down, way down on the chart, and it's it's not true. Um, I've rarely ever gotten below 18 when I when I uh, get use range lead for bullets. Uh, I also um, quench mine with water too, and it seems to help the hardness of it too. Any any metal you heat up to that point, it's going to get the molecules moving. And when you how you cool it, it has a drastic effect on it. We do a lot of annealing of odd metals and different bizarre alloys and everything else, but every single metal acts the same when you break its hardness with the heat. So, and it also takes every alloy I've ever messed with, whether it be ink and anything, it doesn't matter what it is, it takes at least 24 hours for it to get back to being sometimes 36 hours, sometimes 48 hours for it to get back to being 100% of what it's going to be hardness. So, if you're checking your hardness like you know two hours or the next morning after you've made your ingots, then you're not going to get an accurate test on. Um, I've yet to see any alloy of any any type that isn't doesn't react that way to heat. So, and I've been 33 years doing it. But anyway, enough of that. Um, I've got four different ones here. I checked this one earlier, and then uh, they came in. These were all came in pretty hard. I made them all in the same batch of lead. Yep. Something I didn't go over when I was doing the lead is I also do uh, I'll add some tin solder to it sometimes to make it harder if need be. But um, like if I'm down around 16 to 18, like with this F pencil, then I'll, I'll add some some of that uh, tin, hard, the tin solder to it, and it actually does make it quite a bit harder. I'm sure there's some science equation to that, but I don't I don't have it. Nobody's ever talked to me, so I just kind of go on how it results and adjust from the results. For trial and error. Um, as you start with the F, the F works out to be 16 to 18 on the chart. When you do this. I saw there's all kinds of forums where these guys are like making ball ends on there, do all kinds of ridiculousness to it. I don't understand what the deal is with that. But basically, it's just if it, if it if you run this on here and it draws on there and you can't feel the mark, then you need to go up to the next pencil. So it's drawing on there. It's not scratching it. Yep. All right. If you think it's scratching it, check it with your finger for now. If you can catch it with your fingernail, then you can call it a scratch. If it, when it scratches it, it won't leave lead on there, though. You'll just dig into it. And the lead actually makes it look like it's scratched. Sometimes it's not. But you, if you can't feel it with your fingernail, then it's not in there. So the next one up is, uh, that was F there, which was 16 to 18. So we're at least that hard. And then the next one is, uh, let's see, H. Next one up. I've seen plenty of tests on this where people have used these pencils and used a lead lead hardness test through you know all kinds of different ones like Lee makes one and whatnot and they they've always been accurate. I mean, but fairly accurate. You know what I mean? So there's no reason not to trust it. See, I'm still drawing on there with that no scratch. You gotta feel it though, because it's gonna look silver like a scratch in it, but it's the actual lead coming off the pencil, not the not scratching it. You can feel it when it actually does scratch it, it'll go into it. That was H there. 
and next one up is 2H. So I had these already figured out, but like this one here, I had 26 to 28 already on there. That's where we ended up with that last pencil. That's pretty hard. Same with that one. So this one was 20 to 22 when I checked it the first time, but it's actually harder now. But hence bad for it's been sitting for a couple days, like I was talking about. Same with this one here. These are both 20, these are both H's before, and uh, now they're harder from sitting for a couple days, about three or four days actually. So, but I, I've always, I test all my stuff, like I can tell too when I go to shoot it, like the stuff that's really hard, like this will, when I hit steel, it, it the bullet shatters, it just leaves like a, a, you know, like a shrapnel below the, right below the steel, like a line of it, and uh, when the uh, when I, when it's not that hard, then it'll uh, it'll leave the little pancakes of lead down there. I can pick up them. So um, that's pretty much all there is to that whole test right there. But yeah, let me see if I can find one softer. Let me go grab another different one. That I can show you what looks like when it scratches it. I'll be right back. Right, I haven't checked this one yet, but I think it from the looks of it, it looks like it's gonna be softer. It's a little more silvery looking. It seems like the grayer they are, the harder they get, the harder they are. Let's see here, we'll start at F again. See, there we go. I feel it with my finger right there. Actually, you can see it, how peel, it peeled lead up with it when it went, when it went through there. So, that's a little coil right there. It's actually peeling the lead up. All right, so this is 2H, which is 26, 28. So that makes this the 2022 because H did not get through it, so. That real quick, so I'll have to do that again. And so, once you get the scratch in there, whichever pencil the last one that didn't leave a scratch in there, that's what the hardness is. So, that's how it's supposed to work. Uh, I started reading the forums and people were making a whole big thing of it. I don't understand why they did the video I saw a long time ago from that one one guy. I don't know if he's still online or whatever, but the uh, he explained it really simply and really plainly, and that's exactly how he explained it. You go until it scratches. Once it scratches, the pencil before that is how, is the hardest of it. That's it. You don't need to make any kind of custom points on there or doing it. It was just turning into a big, big smite punt, pretty much. Mostly people trying to manipulate the results on it. All right, when I checked this before, it was it was it was BHN 20, 22, 4, so let's see if it's still that way. It's been sitting for about four days now.
just got to get scratched in there. So it's, it's, it's 2022 still. So I say the really hard stuff when I'm shooting steel and then the other stuff I'll, you know, if I'm shooting paper or whatever, but, um, I, 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 I get no ricochets and, and I haven't got hit the face or anything in a while when I'm, you know, when I'm walking through a course or whatever, shooting steel close. Um, when I use the stuff that's, that shatters, it just shatters into very, just so tiny little pieces you can't even find them. It works perfect for me. Um, I don't, cause I don't like getting hit in the face with fragment, bullet fragments or whatever, from arms or whatever it is, but got enough of that. Anyway, that's a, just the simple way to do it, and it's very cost-effective. I think I paid $12 for these pencils on Amazon um, for the set, and then I've had them for a while. And uh, they work. I never even had to resharpen them, honestly. So, um, anyway, hope that was useful for somebody. Um, thanks for watching, and like I said, I'll put a link in the description, so if you need to get a copy of the chart, you can. All right, have a nice day.